Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I want to say hi and welcome you. My name is Emily from Emily Cromwell Designs and I design colorful and happy bookish merch for readers. And I am so very happy to have you guys here today. We are now in the week following my massive packing week of getting all the launch orders packed for my big botanical launch. I have a couple more to pack. Yesterday I thought I packed everything and then I got down here today and I forgot that I put a few extras on my overflow table. Completely missed them yesterday and I need to get those packed. So I'm gonna get those packed at some point, probably either today or tomorrow. I might try to do it today. But uh, this week we need to pack the June Monthly Bookmark and Sticker Club. So the theme for this month is just so fun. It's like an ocean summery type of vibe and I'm so excited. I love this vibe. And it's kind of very similar to what the July Emily Cromwell Designs box is going to be, just as a little heads up. And I'm actually kind of glad with how everything's kind of working because last week packing all the orders, it was a lot of standing, running around the studio, getting things together. But it's always kind of nice when the monthly clubs come around to ship those because I can just sit the whole time while I get to pack them. And I just sit at the table and I don't have to like run around the studio. I can just like grab this grab this and it's a little bit easier to get more done in a shorter amount of time because everything's just right at the table. It's not spread out around the studio. So that is what we are going to be working on this week. Uh, today's Wednesday, so we have the next three days to work on that. I have family coming in from out of town. Actually, my dad, he lives out of state. I haven't seen him in person in over three years. <laughs> So I'm gonna be seeing him for the first time in a few years um, this weekend. So he and my stepmom is coming up. So I'm trying to get orders, like at least all the monthly club orders done before they come up because I'm gonna be doing things with them Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So I'll be losing Monday to pack orders. So I'm gonna try to work as fast as possible the next three days because I really need to get all these done because today is the 12th. I like to ship out the monthly clubs the week of the 10th, so that's this week. So if I can get them done by the end of this week, that's good. So I need to get the orders, well the packing slips printed for those and get the table set up and then we are going to start packing those orders. Okay, so before I get the table set up, I wanted to <sighs> Well, let me pull this over. I wanted to show you all the fun things that we're going to be packing. So, the, um, let's see, where are all the designs? For the monthly bookmark club, well, okay, so the theme for both the sticker club and the bookmark club is Under the Waves, which I thought would be perfect for summertime. And the designs are, so the first one is Read More Books. This just gives me, like, the perfect like sunset summertime vibes and I'm so excited I love this design and then we have some reading jellyfish to go along with that and then we have some coastal books as well so all together this is the monthly bookmark club for the month of June the theme under the waves and then for the sticker club we have these out of the way we have this for the sticker sheet and then we have a little jellyfish for one of the individual stickers and then the read more books design for the other individual stickers so for the bookmark club you get three bookmarks so i'm just going to explain it real quick if you're new to my channel and you don't know about it but the bookmark club you can either sign up to be a monthly subscriber and you get renewed for the club every single month you can pause whenever you want or if you just want to try it out or like pick and choose which months you get you can just do one-time purchase and then for the sticker club same exact setup for subscription or one-time purchase you would get a four by six sticker sheet with a couple different stickers on that sheet and then you get two larger three inch individual vinyl stickers so those are the designs for this month and let's get the table set up.
first of all, don't mind the random noises. My laminators um, are very temperamental this morning, so they're doing their own thing. But I just got all the order packing slips printed, so this is how many orders I have for the June monthly bookmark and sticker club. We have a couple days of order packing ahead of us, so I'm gonna get started on that. I need to get um, a batch of bookmarks laminated first because it's just easier for me if I laminate a bunch at first to have those ready to go. When I first started my monthly bookmark and sticker club, I would laminate bookmark sets as I went so like if an order was laminated I would laminate it when I got to that order and that just took so much time because you have three bookmarks per set the majority of my orders are always laminated bookmarks so I'm like like about a year ago I pivoted I'm like let's just laminate like in big batches pack everything stop what I'm doing take a break laminate more yeah so that's my new flow so I'm gonna work on getting bookmarks laminated and I'm gonna put my earbuds in because I um well I guess I didn't so I did just recently start a book however I'm almost done with it because I'm like going through it so fast so a little update from the last book I told you guys I was reading what was it Twilight of Embers I ended up not liking it and I rarely say that about books because I love most of the books I read, but I loved like the first 50% half of it. But then after the first half of the book, it just like took like a really big turn away from how I thought the book was gonna be. And I just, it just was not vibing with it. And it just, I don't know, I just ended up not liking it. So are you ready for this one guys? I hope you're sitting down because I know someone asked me this before and it does happen rarely. So I DNF'd a book, I did not finish it which is so hard for me to do because I just, I hate leaving things unfinished, but I just could not do it. And I'm like, and I'm so sad because I really, really, really loved how it started. And I was like, this is gonna be a great series. And then it just took a turn and I just was not a fan. But you know what, that happened. So I started another book. So it is called, let me pull it up. Can I make this picture any bigger? I don't know if you can see this. It's Heartless Hunter by Kristen Sicarelli. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. It's the Crimson Moth series. Oh my gosh. It, I'm not gonna give too much away, but basically it's about a witch um, pretending to be a socialite because witches are trying to get eradicated from where she lives and a witch hunter who is the one trying to get rid of all the witches, kind of like falling in love. And neither one knows that the other one is kind of like playing each other. And it, it's so good. I'm just like waiting for the shoe to drop. I'm like, oh my gosh. I'm like stressing, but in a good way, if that's possible. But um, it is so good. So I'm gonna be listening to that today. And you guys are going to be listening to this lovely laminator sound going on over here and packing orders. So let's get on to it. Okay, so I am just finishing up laminating a couple more sets and then I'm gonna have a big batch done and that means we can start actually packing orders.
All right, I am taking a quick social media break because I have a book sleeve restock tonight. Um, tonight is the restock of, well, not restock, but book sleeve launch of Day at the Cottage and then Cottage Bookstore. So um, I need to post um, just a quick reminder to people that that is tonight. And then after I do that, we will be right back to packing more orders. Also, so I just saw on um, Instagram on my video that I posted yesterday, it was showing like my top 10 worst selling stickers that I showed you guys I think it was, like, two weeks ago or so now. And at least two people said like, oh, you should make a bundle listing of all your 10 worst selling stickers so that we can buy them and kind of like boost them up and give them some love and I'm like that's actually a genius idea like literally you guys just give me such amazing ideas and I'm so thankful to you for that so I'm sitting here I'm like I like that actually so uh, I think I'm actually gonna do that I'm gonna do a, a bundle listing of my 10 worst selling stickers that still deserve love <laughs> Or at least I still love and I'm gonna do just a fun listing So I um, I will let you guys know when that's up probably watch on my community tab or Instagram I don't know when it will be but I'll also announce it whichever studio vlog where it's up I will announce it there as well, but um, I'm gonna work on doing that and then I've also had someone on here be like Oh, you should do um, and I love this idea like every couple of videos or so show like your top whatever number we're selling of certain products to kind of like boost things up because like I do have a lot of products in my store so a lot of things it's easy to miss and um, I loved that idea so I'm gonna do that with like bookmarks magnetic bookmarks planner sticker like literally all my products I'm gonna do that and I'm really excited for that it's a fun series it's like not a normal series to do to be like hey these designs really don't sell but here they are as usually it's like oh just talking about all your best sellers and stuff but you know what we're gonna go against the norm and I'm gonna talk about my worst sellers so uh yeah I'm gonna work on getting a bundle listing together for the worst selling stickers and I will keep you guys posted but um on that note I am jumping back into packing orders and we're probably gonna pack for another three or so hours so here we go <laughs>
All right, so I am all out of laminated bookmarks. So while my laminators are heating up, I'm gonna go over to the shipping station and start packing up those orders. Yesterday, I think there's only like 10 or so that I didn't realize I didn't pack. So I'm gonna do that real quick. Okay, so actually um, packing those took me a little bit longer than I thought and my camera battery is almost dead. I have to charge that other spare one that I got so it does me no good if I don't charge it. So I gotta get on that. But it's almost time for me to stop working anyway so I think I'm gonna uh, just laminate the rest of the, um, well not the rest of the bookmarks because that would be a lot. I'm going to laminate a good chunk of bookmarks so that I have those ready to go tomorrow morning and then we can just get right back into packing more orders. So don't go anywhere. Good morning, we are back in the studio today and we are ready to keep packing monthly bookmark and sticker club orders. But before we get into that, I wanted to show you guys a little sneak peek into the summer collection, Summer in Greece, that I've been working on. I am um, to say I'm excited about these designs would be a little bit of an understatement. I was up really late last night as per usual because you know, insomnia. And I put together a glass cup. I put together a pillow. I did, what else did I do? Finalized a couple of things. So I'm not gonna show the products because I kind of want those to be a surprise and I wanna wait to show those at least till those get here. But let me lower the brightness on my iPad because otherwise it's gonna be super, super bright. Okay, so the first design, I think I, do I have the brightness right? I hope so. I lowered the brightness on my iPad like way, way, way far down. So I hope this translates well onto the camera. We'll see. But this first design is the lemon design I was talking to you about. So I'm just so proud of this design. And this is going to be a bookmark. Isn't that so fun? I just feel like that's like... Here, let me hold it up. I just feel like that's like the perfect summertime fresh feeling bookmark and it really makes me want a cold glass lemonade that's all I'm gonna say so 
that is a lemon pattern design. And then I, I've only finished two bookmarks so far in this collection, but the other one is this one. So it's kind of like a grease beach setting. And of course we got some lemon trees up at the top. And then I don't have the other three bookmarks finished because it's going to be a bookmark set, but I will show you the sketches. This one, I cannot wait to draw. So this is going to be a Grease bookshop and we have, it's going to be like your royal blue, like archway door that's like typical of Grease. And then I don't know if you can tell. But on the front welcome mat here, we have a sleeping kitty and she's got her sun hat on to protect her from the sun. And then I'll just show you the detail that's going to be on the door. I'm so excited. And then up top, we're going to have um, a window of books looking into the bookshop. And it's going to be like greenery, botanicals, all sorts of stuff. And it's going to be, where's my color palette? I had so much fun putting this color palette together. It's going to be, every design is going to be done in this color palette down here. So I'm excited for that. And the fourth bookmark in this collection is this one. So it's going to be um, kind of like a bike in motion, so to say. And the basket is going to be filled up with like flowers, botanicals. I'll probably throw some lemons in there as well. Books and then um, like a royal blue shutter to match like the other bookmark where it's the royal blue door so it's gonna be like a side view of the bookshop i keep going back and forth over whether i want the shutters to be open or shut i mean when you're working with a traditional bookmark which is very tall and narrow you only have so much space to work with so i'm thinking i'm gonna have it shut stay tuned <laughs> And then finally, I told you last video how I like to do like a path to either a bookshop or a library and the scenes change based on like the bookmark set and like the vibe I'm going for. So I've done like a path to a fall library, path to a nighttime library, path to a Halloween bookstore. Like I've done a lot, a lot of different ones, like a winter bookshop. And so this one is going to be a path to a Greece bookshop. So hear me out, because you're going to see this sketch and you're going to be like, what? So I promise it's going to be cute. Sometimes my sketches are just embarrassing to show and it's like, what is this supposed to be? But I can't even like hold this good. Here we go. So it's going to be like a path up here. And then these are going to be like your traditional grease buildings. So like all white with like the blue doors. And then the bookshop is going to be the same way, all white with blue doors. And then it's just going to be on a cliff right here with the ocean over here and I'll probably put a cat. Oh, you know what? I'd be cute if I put a cat like sitting here or walking. Yeah, okay, that'd be fun. Okay, I gotta write that down in a minute. But I also took the lemon design. Well, no, I took some of the lemons from the lemon bookmark that I showed you. I'm really excited about this print. And I did this print. I am so excited about this one. So this one's gonna be on all the things. Sometimes I draw things for collections and I'm like, this is gonna be the star of the show. And I get, I get that vibe with this drawing. I hope it will be at least, cause I love this. I'm thinking I'm gonna put it on um, a pillow, a t-shirt, a notebook. It'll be a book sleeve, but I don't like to do book sleeves with big launches because I only have so many quantities of book sleeves and I've been, I've gotten feedback in the past that if I've done a lot of book sleeves in one launch or book sleeves with other things, it kind of like gets overwhelming for people and they get um, stressed out with trying to make sure they get it in time and I never want to make anybody feel that way. So that's why I don't do book sleeves in my big launches where it's like 40 new products, 50 new products, because as far as I know, Shopify doesn't have a feature where it holds the items in your cart. So you could very well put something in your cart, go to shop for other stuff in my shop, and then it's sold out by the time you get there. And I don't want to stress anybody out. So it'll be a book sleeve at some point this summer. And then I'm also turning this pattern design that's going to be a book sleeve as well. So we're going to have uh, two lemon uh, book sleeve designs. And then... We are going to have a fun notepad design. I mean, how like summery fun is this? This one just, 
I want this one like now. So that's what I've done so far. I have a lot of fun ideas. I'm trying to force myself not to go crazy because I also need to start drawing for fall and Halloween and I can't do that if I'm like going crazy and drawing a humongous summer launch so I'm trying to keep it contained. I'm trying not to have it be as big as the botanical launch and have it be more contained to this and and I'm trying also to have it still even though it's like a summer in Greece vibe, I'm still trying to have it be like designs you can use year round. So I'm not like putting the words like summer on any of the bookmarks or stickers. I used to do that a lot when I first started doing stickers and bookmarks. It would be like, I don't know, I would just put the words of the seasons on there. I mean, fall and Christmas, it makes more sense to do it, but like spring and summer where the designs, if they don't have those words on it, they can be used throughout the year. So I noticed when I don't do that, things sell better. So I just want to give you a little sneak peek into what I've been working on, but um, I will keep you guys posted. So I still have some drawing that I need to do, as you could tell. So I don't have a launch date for when that would be, but um, stay tuned. I will, I'm gonna figure that out soon. So as long as, as soon as I get everything done with drawing that, I will let you guys know so you can start planning. But I need to start continuing well no not start i need to continue packing up the june monthly bookmark and sticker club orders i'm move you here hold on i am um, i still have this much to do i hope i finish by tomorrow i'm really gonna try it just turned 10 a.m so one two three four i have about six seven hours ahead of me so should be good i only have like two hours left in my audiobook and guys i am kind of uh not low key, but high key stressing because, and I always make sure of this before I go into a book, but I think I was just so excited about it and hearing so much about it, I dove right in. That was a long sentence, I gotta catch my breath. <laughs> Whew. Um, I didn't realize that, so it's a duology, so there's only gonna be two books in this series. The second one isn't out yet. And I'm loving this book, and I'm like, I've heard it's ended on, it ends on a very, very massive cliffhanger, which I'm not surprised with how the story is going. But yeah, so um, I gotta figure out what else to read after this. And then I always get like I'm mad at myself when I do that because I get so into a book and like the storyline, the plot, the characters, and then it's like, oh, it's done. Like, thanks for reading, and the next one will be out in like a year, and I'm like, <sighs> but I'm in the moment now. But I have such a hard time waiting until the series is finished to read it if I really wanna read it. So, I mean, it's fine, but I'm gonna have to look at my library, my Audible library to see what other books I wanna read. Because if I read a really good book, sometimes that just puts me into a bad like reading spell because then nothing comes close to it and I don't wanna read anything for like a week or two. And I'm just like, but we'll see. So I need to start packing the orders and that's what we're doing next. Also, I'm like so nervous I'm going to hit this stack of laminated bookmarks right here because whenever I wear a shirt that like the sleeve is kind of like a little baggy, I'm always like, Pow! the bookmarks just go everywhere. So I'm so anxious. I don't want to roll my sleeves up though because I'm cold as per usual. So hopefully I don't knock these over. It's been known to happen. <laughs> All right. I'm going back into the world of, anytime I read a book, I don't remember the name, hold on. Artless Hunter, there we go. There's things that are happening in this book and I'm starting to get my suspicions and I think someone is not who they're pretending to be. So we're gonna find out, I'm very intrigued. This is such a good book, again. If you like books about like witches and kind of like forbidden romance vibes and like secrecy, high stakes, you need to read Heartless Hunter. The Crimson Moth series by Kristen Siccarelli. It's good. It's so good. Love it.
So also last night, I forgot to mention today, what am I doing? Blood marks. Um, that I finished all of the artwork for the July Emily Cromwell Designs box last night. And can I just say, I think this is the earliest I've ever finished artwork for my quarterly box that I do. Usually I'm like so busy that I'm like up until like the very last second doing finishing touches. The design reveal is June 27th, so I'm a good, what's today? The 13th. 10 plus days early. So I'm uh, quite proud of myself with that one. And I am so excited. I'm trying my very best not to give too much away. I know I've told you a few things about it, but I'm trying very hard not to give too much away about what all is gonna be in it. Let's just say if you are looking for something summery and you are looking for something kind of like got the same vibe as these monthly clubs where it's like ocean vibes i think you are going to like this box and then my seamstress who's doing the book sleeves sent me pictures and videos of the finished book sleeves and they are so cute i'm gonna do actually a sneak peek on instagram youtube shorts tiktok everything so that's gonna be up and then i'm also gonna be doing like a short form video revealing the wristlet lanyard. I'm trying to like rethink how I promote the quarterly box because I've been doing it for a year now and it used to just be on the 27th here's a picture of what's in it but it's like a small picture of everything so I'm trying to maybe take some more like lifestyle photos to like show the items in use and like larger photos so you can get more of a feel for it and post just the artwork so you can see all the details and what you're getting. So I'm trying to up my marketing tactics. So we shall see. I'm getting a phone call. Hold on. All right. Sorry. I'm back. But um, yeah, so I finished that last night. Now all I have left to do for that is make like the promo images, do some digital mock-ups of the products that I don't have yet to show people what they're like. And then also doing like the ma also making the graphics for like the welcome postcard when you open the box and the back of that postcard and the sticker for when you open the box so i have a couple things that i still have to do but i am light years ahead of where i'm usually at this time when i have a box coming up so i'm quite happy about that <laughs> get my juicy juice for a little hydration break um i'm out of laminated bookmarks so i'm waiting for my laminators to heat up and while those are heating up um it just so happens to be noon which is when i like to post on social media so i am going to post everywhere drink my juicy juice and then we're gonna laminate more bookmarks so <laughs> i was on my break just trying to enjoy and I, usually I try not to address getting not the nicest messages from people, but this one just really kind of made me upset. Basically just got a message from someone saying that like they took my classes years ago. I used to do stuff on Skillshare and do um, design classes. And I'm talking years and years ago, 10 plus years ago and basically messaged me out of the blue saying, please give yourself a spa day. They don't like seeing me look older than I am. Know that you're working hard, but look your best on videos. Then tried to make it nicer by saying you're beautiful, but don't try looking silly. Be you, which I am. So I responded saying, well, how am I looking silly? And 
They just said, I'd rather see you with your hair done and looking good without being silly. I understand that like people, everybody is entitled to their own opinions and my style may not be for you. Like that's what is so awesome about humans in general is that we all have our own unique style and that's a pretty cool thing. However, making someone feel bad about themselves is not cool to put it simply. I don't know why someone would message someone out of the blue and just say basically you're pretty but you've been looking ugly. Unfortunately this comes with the territory of being a small business owner that puts themselves out on social media. Not even a small business owner, anyone that puts themselves out there on social media. People just think I guess they have the right to comment on your appearance and say you're not pretty enough. So I just want to say that even if you're not intending something to come across rudely like how they're like oh you're still pretty but please remember that like your words are still very hurtful like literally every single person you meet not just me every single person you meet is going through so much more than you could possibly know every person in the world is going through things so it is so much easier to just be kind because i guarantee that that person needs your kindness and not your rudeness and it would make their day so much better instead of getting little jabs so I try on my videos to show my real authentic self and my real authentic self is a girl that wears her hair in a, a messy bun 99.99999 percent of the time of her life and I'm happy with that about myself I don't want to take the time to blow dry my hair brush my hair nice put on makeup I feel beautiful as I am if I'm not beautiful for someone else, that's fine. That's a you problem. That's not a me problem. I don't dress a certain way to make other people happy. I dress for myself. I love my fun earrings. I love my fun shirts, all my pink. I love my scrunchies, my headbands. And if that looks silly, I'm sorry, but it makes me happy. And that's all there is to it. So I'm actually over here laughing to myself because I'm over here crying while still trying to work and get things done and I'm like this is just like I need to put that Taylor Swift song on that's like I cry a lot but I'm so productive <laughs> I can do it with a broken heart everybody I can keep working so yeah this is um if you really want to talk about being real this is um, a really real reality of being a small business owner is you have to keep working and pack orders even when you're crying over hurtful comments on the internet here we are i'm doing my best and i'm hoping i can get a lot of bookmarks laminated and i may cry a lot but i'm still productive <laughs> I'm feeling better. I'm still laminating bookmarks, obviously. I got pushed back a little bit, but I just wanted to say a very big thank you to everyone just for, cause every time I post a video in here, you guys are always so kind. And I cannot tell you how much I feel the love from you guys. And you may not think it, but every comment you leave with words of support means so much to me because like as you guys know and being totally real and honest I deal with a lot of uh, really bad anxiety and um, depression problems like a lot <laughs> and self-doubt not feeling good enough thinking I should just quit and um, every time I post a video and I see all of your supportive comments coming in I cannot even begin to tell you the love that I feel. I feel like I'm being wrapped up in a comforting hug when I see your guys' messages and it it means the world to me. I could cry again. I'm not going to because I don't want to make you guys feel uncomfortable. But it means the world to me because I have always felt like I needed to hide myself. I have always been someone where I've never felt pretty in my life. I've always felt kind of like the ugly duckling. Um, I wasn't the popular kid in school. I was made fun of all the time. On social media, I get comments such as this every now and then commenting about my appearance and it's people like you that make those comments worth it and make me keep posting. Um, so I just wanted to thank you because I'm here 
to spread happiness to you guys so I don't know why some people want to thank me for that by sending me hurtful messages but uh, well I, I, I don't understand that one but I am literally just here to make content artwork videos to make you smile and happy because this world needs more happiness like you can never have enough happiness all I want to do is make people happy and hearing from you guys about how I'm able to do that and it's just the best thing in the world so thank you for those of you that love me for me and you still like me even when my hair is in a messy bun or I have zero makeup on my face I'm showing up in a comfy sweatshirt and my fluffy socks and my pajama pants. I thank you for that because I'm on here trying to show the realities of being a small business owner. For some small business owners, their reality may be doing their hair every day, doing their makeup, and that's amazing, but it's not my reality. I'm someone, I don't like doing makeup. I don't like having my hair out blown out. I like having a messy bun. I like being fluffy and I just like being comfy. That may not be for everyone, but for those of you who love me for me, th I thank you for that because I'm just trying to show the realities of being a small business owner, and this is my reality. If I was on here doing my makeup every day, doing my hair perfect, that would be me being fake because I don't like to do that stuff, really. Like, I'll do it for special occasions. I should be laminating bookmarks. I'm sitting here talking. I, um... I do it for special occasions, but even then when I do it, I'm like, can I take this off now? Can I put my hair up? I'm a sweatpants and a messy hair bun type of girl, and I'm proud of it. I'm not gonna change that about myself. And um, trying to get bookmarks laminated, it's almost 3 p.m. I was really, really, really hoping that I would get a lot more done today than I did. I mean, okay, I shouldn't diminish what I did because I got a pretty good huge amount done however I got very sidetracked from that message I'm continuing to pack not pack laminate bookmarks it is taking me a long time but we're getting there and I'm gonna hopefully get back to packing orders in a second <laughs> Okay, my basket, let's see if I can lift this. Ugh, it's full, as, as you can see, holy moly. So, I am done for today, it's 4 p.m. So I'm gonna head upstairs, go have some dinner, and then I am gonna continue drawing for the summer collection. So we have one more day together, so don't go anywhere. I will see you guys tomorrow morning. Good morning, it is Friday today. Can I just say, before we get into this portion of the day, it, after yesterday's message, I almost wanna do like an outfit of the day today because I am not ashamed at all of the fact that my clothing style is fluffy. Like, the more fluffier and soft something is, the better. So, this is my outfit of the day, friends. Messy bun, 
hoop earrings, no makeup, super comfy sweatshirt, super comfy, even fluffier sweatpants, and I'm loving life today. So, there we go. So, today, huh, I'm a bit stressed because, so I actually, what I'm not stressed about is, this is all the orders that I have left for the monthly clubs. I got so much packed yesterday. I got over 200 packed yesterday, so that was awesome. I have a few more regular orders that I wanna get packed today since I mentioned that my dad and stepmom are um, coming up to visit for a few days and I won't be working on Monday, so I wanna get that stuff sorted. Sorry, my mom came down, I got a bit distracted, but they're coming up today. <laughs> And one of the things that I want to do is I want to show them my studio because my dad has never seen any of my studios. I really want to show off my new studio. I'm feeling the stress to, I need to vacuum everything. I need to organize things that are on the floor, maybe put them on a table so it just looks nicer and just tidy up a bit. So I'm gonna do that first because if I wait to do it till the end of the day and I'm tired from packing orders, so I'm gonna do it now while I have energy and then I'm gonna pack orders and hope I can get everything packed that I need to. I think these boxes are uh, review journals and the favorite book quote journals that I've been needing to restock. Woo! That took some effort. <laughs> yeah, these are the journals. Okay, cool. I've been needing to restock a bunch of this stuff, but I'm not gonna like quality check and count things now because I'm on such a, a time crunch. So I'm just gonna get everything at least just unboxed so things look a little bit nicer. <laughs> So, got things looking a lot nicer and cleaner. It's not perfect by any means, but it definitely looks a lot better than it did. So, you know what, I'll take it. And now, my dust allergies. Gosh, don't mind my sniffling. I've been sneezing left and right. My dust allergies are going insane. Okay, so I am going to pack um, those few other orders that I wanted to do before the monthly clubs. Because like I said, with the monthly clubs, I can just sit and pack, don't have to do anything else. So I'm gonna do the orders that I do have to go around the studio and do some things. And then we're gonna focus on the monthly clubs after that. And hopefully we can get everything done today. All right, so I am, I got the magnetic bookmarks done that I needed to do. So now I'm gonna be just laminating. I have a few orders, like I said, that I have to pack. I'm just gonna laminate those bookmarks quick so I can go pack those. Then they're gonna be all done and then We'll be doing the monthly bookmark clubs, but while I'm doing this, I wanted to also let you know, because I forgot to tell you how the book sleeve launch went the other day. It was one of the best book sleeve launches I've had in a while. I don't know what, why, but I'm so happy and grateful that it went so well. I only have a very, very, very small amount left of both sleeves, so that makes me excited. So I'm also thought this would be a good time to, oh man, there's a speck on this one. Hold on, I need to get another bookmark. One second. We can't have a speck on the bookmark, that just won't do, you know? Okay, so I'm also going to have another book sleeve restock here very, very soon. Let me check what the date is. 
It's going to be Friday, June 21st at 7 p.m. Eastern time. Well, let me get the book sleeve to show you. You guys have already seen it, but I wanna show you again to jog your memory. So it's gonna be a launch for this book sleeve. I love this one, I'm so excited. I kinda wanna get one for myself, but I won't so that all of you can get one. But it's gonna be this book sleeve and it has a fun kinda like, kinda looks like a starburst pattern on the inside. But this is going to be going up on Friday at 7 p.m. And yeah, and then, like I said, I also got a delivery of a bunch of other book sleeves. <laughs> and so I'm going to have another book sleeve restock. I mean, that's one of the things I'm really grateful for with having these seamstresses um, is that I'm able to have so many more book sleeve relaunch, not relaunches, book sleeve launches for you guys because before when I would do book sleeves, they would just sell out in minutes because I was only able, well, my mom who sewed them was only able to sew so many. And now that I'm able to get more made at a time, I'm able to have it so it doesn't just sell out in minutes and people that may see like, oh, she has book sleeves a few days later are actually still able to get one. So I'm so happy and grateful for these seamstresses because they have made all this possible, all the book sleeve launches. So it's gonna be a lot more fun book sleeve launches. And I got a fun product in the mail yesterday. I don't have it down here with me to show you, but I'll tell you about it, is I thought it would be really, really fun with the beach towels that I'm gonna do. Launch date's still to be determined. Once I get through this weekend and the stress of people coming to visit has dissipated, I will get that all sorted out. But there was a fun product that I saw on my, one of my um, printer manufacturers website and it was tie-dye hats, like a baseball hat. And they had a like a cotton candy tie-dye, like pinks, blues, purples, my vibe, if you know what I mean. And you could get one of your designs embroidered on the hat, like at, on the front. And I was like, ooh. So, I drew up a little design. It was, it was so hard to draw a design for it. What happened with this bookmark? <laughs> I, um, it was so hard to draw a design for it because I don't like drawing simple artwork. Like, I love shading. I love, I love adding texture, all that fun stuff. But with embroidery, obviously it had to be flat artwork and it was really hard for me to kind of like, for me to get in that mindset. But it came out really cute in my opinion. So I'm thinking that'd be like a fun combo to do to have like the beach towels and a hat go up at the same time because you know, sun protection. So I'm very excited about it and I will show you guys that probably in the next video. But I just wanted to give you a little heads up that that is here and that's something to look forward to. So I'm going to get these bookmarks laminated, like I said. I don't know what happened with this. Okay, I, these bookmarks are like having a mind of their own right now. So I'm gonna get these bookmarks laminated and then we are going to continue packing up monthly bookmark club and sticker club orders. <laughs> Okay, I just have to highlight this order because it is so sweet. This person bought every single art print from my new botanical lodge. 
Rosie Library, Violet Library. Let's see what we have here. Reading in the Meadow, Cerulean Library, Read More Books, Celestial, Books Over Reality Any Day, Book Lover Botanical, and the Birdhouse Library. Oh, that's so fun. Look how happy they are. Okay, uh, let's get this water packed. Just barely, but it does. <laughs> well, hold on, I gotta fit these. <sighs> that will fit. Actually, yeah, no, that fits. Okay, crisis averted. All right, so I am almost done packing the orders. I think I only have like 10 left or so at this point. I am currently freezing. I have my heater by me. I don't know why I'm just like having one of my really cold episodes and like the base of my fingers turn like a purpley color, but that's rain on for you. So I'm freezing. Like I literally like, I'm having a hard time feeling my fingers. I'm so cold. Uh, it makes no sense because today is like 85 degrees and my body's just like you know what no we're gonna be cold today we feel like we're in the tundra so i mean the, honestly that's why i'm in sweatpants and a sweatshirt all the time because i'm always so cold <gasps> okay get myself warm here i really didn't think i was gonna like finish all these orders this week so I'm really, really excited about that because I didn't want people to have to wait for me to ship these because like I said, I like to get them out the week of the 10th and today's Friday so that marks the end of this week. And on Monday, I won't be here working and I won't be back until Tuesday, which is like 18th. 
And then by that point, we're like a few days out from when I reveal the July sets. So I really wanted to get everything done today. So I'm really, really happy that I was able to, or that I will be able to, I should say, because I haven't got them done yet. But I am, can I just talk about this audiobook real quick? So Heartless Hunter, I am stressing. Because like, you know when you're reading a book and you can just feel like something is brewing, tension is building, and you're like, I need to sit down because something crazy is about to happen, right? I'm getting that vibe and I'm very anxious. I'm really nervous. There's a character I love. There's two characters I love. I don't want anything to happen to them. This other character I'm very suspicious of. Then this other character I have high hopes for, but I don't know if I trust them. And I'm being very vague here because I don't want to like spoil anything for anyone that hasn't read this book. So we'll see. But I'm going to finish packing these and that's what I gotta do next. <laughs> Okay, so I also forgot to tell you guys that with the book sleeve launch coming up this coming Friday, there's actually going to be two designs in this book sleeve launch. We're also going to have my colorful reader pattern print. So this one actually also has a fun starburst interior. So we're going to have the late night reader one and then this pattern design. So we're going to have two different designs for that book sleeve launch. And I scooch up here. I uh, forgot to show this one. So here she is. So we finished, actually. Um, all the orders are packed. So, so happy I was able to get those done. So that means this brings us to the end of this video. I always, can I just tell you guys, I always get so sad every time it comes to like ending a video. Cause I just, I love hanging out with you guys. So I'm always like, I wanna like keep hanging out. But I'm glad you guys have been enjoying the video so much. So thank you guys for being here and just showing up like week after week and watching my videos. It's amazing and I'm so grateful for you guys so I hope you enjoyed this video all the orders are packed so excited I do have some extras so those will get listed very soon and then let's see coming up so the next couple of videos is going to be getting ready for a summer collection launch still need to draw a lot of the stuff products are coming in and also getting ready for my July Emily Cromwell designs box I'm started to get some products in yesterday and I'm gonna show you guys probably the next video everything that's gonna be in the box I cannot wait to show you I, I put together some of the promo images last night and I'm just so I can't wait to show you. But as always, we have some fun things coming up. So that is it for me. I miss you guys already. Thank you so much for watching this video. I had a lot of fun um, with the last video and coming up with a word to see like who watched to the end. Can I just say, I was like so surprised how many people watched to the end. I was like, wow, I didn't know people actually wanted to watch the whole thing. So that was a pretty cool feeling. So thank you for that. Makes me feel really good. So thank you for that. So let's see on this video. Let's see if you watched it to the end. Comment ocean because of June's monthly bookmark and sticker club thing being an ocean theme. So comment ocean if you if you want, you don't have to. But if you watch the whole video, because it's just fun to me to see how many people watched it. I was last week when the video went up and I was like, oh, comment botanical if you watch the whole video. There was at one point, I think like between like five and 10 comments came in at the very same time, like botanical, botanical, botanical. And I'm like, whoa, I'm like, what is happening? How are these people finishing at the same time? And I realized I'm like, oh, duh, that would be people that started watching it the second it went up and then it's ending. So 
but yeah so i hope you guys are doing amazing and thank you so much for hanging out with me i hope you're reading some amazing books and i will see you in my next video bye love you guys <laughs> <laughs>